All right, so a lot of questions about this and finally I was able to get an adapter that actually worked. Had this device for a couple weeks now and I've tried the USB a to ethernet adapters I also tried a bought a couple usb c to ethernet adapters that didn't work either so i was under the impression that this device just doesn't support ethernet to usb adapter so then i got a, a, a notification from one of my subscribers saying that they purchased this particular ethernet adapter and i'll show you guys which one i'm talking about at the end of this video purchased this ethernet adapter and it worked flawlessly so I reached out to him, I asked him which particular one, he didn't follow up, so I went on Amazon and I bought one, hoping that that was the one that he was talking about. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys that yes, you can connect the USB to Ethernet adapter, yes it works, yes it does work on the USB-C port as well as the micro USB port via uh, OTG cable and of course I'll link everything that I'm using in the description of this video. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So on the TiVo Stream 4K, I am connected. Let me go to my settings. And you can see it is connected via Ethernet. So Wi-Fi is turned off. If I turn on the Wi-Fi, it will go ahead and scan for the networks. But if I turn it off, And then I back out a little bit. You can see Ethernet is connected. And just to show you guys that I am not playing any tricks, let me go ahead and physically disconnect the adapter from the TiVo stream. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug it back in. All right. So Ethernet connected once again. Go back in, Wi-Fi is turned off. So let me go ahead and we'll do a speed test and uh, using Analytia will show that I am using a wired network once again. So if you look in the top right, shows that it's using a wired network. So with that being said, this speed is not what I'm paying for. This is lower than actual speed that I'm paying for. Let me scan again. So it looks like we're getting about 170. I'm paying for 400, so it's about a little bit less than half of what I'm expecting. That might seem like a big hiccup. However, for people that have a long network cord or they're using a power line adapter or something like that where they can get a wired connection into their TiVo, this is a big deal because Wi-Fi is not reliable. It's all over the place. And sometimes Wi-Fi is just not an option, especially if you're in a crowded apartment building. But this will give you decent speeds. It's not going to be great. Uh, hopefully updates and time will pass and this will get a lot better and let me show you the two devices that i'm using to make this work so the adapter that i'm using is a ugreen usb 3 uh, gigabit ethernet adapter so the price on this is 15.99 pretty standard for a device of this sort when i actually reach out to my subscriber that actually commented on that video i didn't know if he got this one or if he got the one with the usb c so i went ahead and just purchased this one and now that i found that it's working i am going to go ahead and purchase from the same company but i'm going to purchase the usb c version and see if that's working so with this being plugged in what i also need is a usb c to usb a adapter All right so you'll also need something like this these are pretty cheap this is uh, 899 for a two pack so you'll need this so this will plug in directly into your TiVo stream 4k and of course the adapter will plug in there and then you can connect your ethernet cable to your adapter so that's one way of doing it the other way of connecting is actually using a micro usb or the power plug in the back of the TiVo stream 4k but with that being used you'll also need an otg adapter so before i show you which adapter i'm using let me go ahead and just show you what speeds i'm getting let me show you what speeds I'm getting from the micro USB versus the actual USB-C. I just plugged it up. Let me see if it um, looks like it's connected. Look like it's connected already and it is connected via Ethernet. Right now I'm using a micro USB with an OTG adapter. So the first test, I think we're running around 167. So it looks like we're within the same range, 170, 173. So I'll, I'll run another test. I'll start it over. All right, so about 
and 160. So between the four tests that I just ran, there's nothing as far as a speed difference. So it comes down to personal preference and what you might have laying around the house, guys. So what OTG adapter am I using? So this is the actual OTG adapter that I'm using. I, I did a review on this one a couple years ago, actually, and they've since upgraded it, but it's the same basic layout. And I'll go ahead and link that video as well. So you'll put your power plug here. This will go into your TiVo Stream 4K, and then you have three USB ports where you can plug in an ethernet adapter, wireless keyboard, storage whatever you need to do but most important thing is that on this device itself there's a switch the switch has two sides one's for otg one's for charge so keep that in mind you need to be on otg for this to work properly and once again i'll link that in the video description so the last thing i wanted to do is show you what i'm getting from the wi-fi the wi-fi is going to be faster like i said let me go ahead and we'll just turn the wi-fi on All right, so with the ethernet, we're getting about 265, which is 100 megabits per second uh, higher than what we're getting with the USB adapter. But like I said before, this is not the case with a lot of people. A lot of people, Wi-Fi is so slow that it's not even worth it. And a wired connection is the only way and it provides more stability. In reality, if you had good speed like I'm getting on my Wi-Fi, you wouldn't really have a need for an Ethernet adapter. Big shout out to my subscriber. I would put his name in there, but I, I haven't been able to get in touch with him, and uh, I don't want to put his name on the internet without his permission. If he responds to this, I'll go ahead and pin it in the comments section. So last thing I want to say is that I'm going to order the USB-C to Ethernet adapter. Hopefully that will give us more speed on the Ethernet port, but we'll see what happens if it works at all. So stay tuned guys, make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. Like I said, all links will be provided in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.